Hey guys, Patrick here, and today I've got a bit of an old school FIFA um, hybrid squad builder for you. And it's going to be a bit of a retro squad going back to FIFA 12. Yep, that's right, I dusted off the old disc and put it in. And um, pretty much um, because of the inspiration caused by um, Bateson and Capcom Tom, they did um, some recent squad builders, or retro squad builders, I guess you could say now, of FIFA 12, and they look pretty nice. And I was, I was tempted. I remember having a really nice team, which I still have, which I'm about to show you. So yeah, that's what I went and did, and played a few games with it. I think about 10, maybe eight, roughly. So anyways, so going into the team, it's a little bit of a skill team, like I was a, I'm, I was a skiller back then, and I guess I still am, but anyways, at goal, we had uh, Lee Bum Young, pretty much in there for the name. That was a pretty godly name for um, a goalkeeper. You could anyways get any um, Korean keeper. Then my first centre-back is Park Min, who was a bronze in form. And I think back then, he cost me 9,000 coins, so not too bad. Only 6-1 pace, however, but as you can see, 70 shot, not too bad at all for a centre-back. And then next to him, um, we have a silver centre-back, Kim Ju Young. He plays for Seoul, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, well, in the um, Korean League. And look at that, 86 pace, that, that is rapid for a centre-back, especially a Korean. Well, actually, no, Koreans are all quite fast. Uh, there's Suk, who I remember is really fast right back. So, um, going on to my left-back now, I believe, yep, yeah, we have Amero, who played for Udinese. He now plays for uh, Napoli, now in um, FIFA 13, I do believe, and he's a very good player, um non-rare player on FIFA 12. Very nice stats there all round. And finally my last defender at right back, we have Cicinho. And um, how much did he cost me? Um, he cost me 19,000 coins. I believe now he costs more because of all the hype going on with FIFA 12. Well, a bit of hype. And he was a very good player. As you can see, 90 pace, 6, 7 shot, 74 dribbling and 4 star skills on a right back. Not too bad at all. Let's go on to my first um, Midfielder, we got Molina, the team of season version. Some very nice stats there. Not the best for a CDM, but w would work very well attacking, well in attacking um, role. But I put him there anyways for the long shot. He cost me um, 29k, and um, he does have a very nice long shot, like I said. And he also has four star skills, and he is Colombian, and he gets a nice strong link with my Korean centre back right there. And next to him, my other CDM, we have William Williams. He played for Udinese and he's got some very nice pace, pretty much a FIFA 12 uh, version of Ramirez, a cheaper version, and he was a very good all-round player, very nice work rate to remember, I think it's high at uh, defence and low attack, yeah I think that's it. And uh, well anyways, going on to my first attacking fielder, we've got second in form Lucas, and look at those stats, well we'll get them there, 93 pace, 84 shot, 80 passing and 90 dribbling is pretty amazing for an 85 rated player with 5 star skills. And he cost me 110k, very nice player, did get a very nice, well, sweet goal with him, a skill run with him. Because there will be a mini compilation at the end, because I did decide to um, score a few skill goals with this team. So, going on to my final centre attacking mid, we have the Colombian Moreno, who's now not in FIFA 13, but in FIFA 12 was a very nice player indeed. Had 5 star skills, very nice silver all round for a Mexican league team. I did use this guy a lot, because pretty much this team was all my favourite players put into one squad. So he's got 76 pace, 73 dribbling, 74 shot, uh, dribbling, sorry, and of course those 5 star skills. So going on to my centre forward, we've got Marcus Sal. I don't really like him that much now in FIFA 13, but in FIFA 12 he was amazing. 5 star skills of course, um, he got transferred right at the end of FIFA 12 to um, Udinese, and I definitely took a full advantage of that. So he has some very nice pace, decent shot passing, and some very nice dribbling paired with those 5 star skills of course. Going on to my striker now, we have the, my favourite player of the whole game pretty much, Elisha Wawi, and he's got um, 81 pace, 79 dribbling, 70 shot and 70 passing. He cost me uh, 67k back then, I remember purchasing this guy a load of different times, I remember paying 100k for him, 50k and 60k, or I remember buying him a lot, a lot, well a lot of times, sorry. So yeah, that's the squad guys, El Shawawi pretty much is by far the best player on FIFA 12 for me. So yeah, that pretty much sums him up straight away. His shot, his long shot, his finesse. Oh, it's all amazing. Five star skills, five star week, but you just can't get better than that, really. So yeah, that's the squad, guys. I ho hope you've enjoyed. I think back on FIFA 12, it costed me a roughly around the 200k mark. There will be a mini compilation now, and um, the goals are from about eight games, I do believe. And they're pretty nice goals. I was pretty much getting a clip a game, 
actually one game I did get three clips which, which was not too bad at all. So I hope you've enjoyed guys and um, hope you have a very nice day. They're on the ball again. I wanna run to you and get away. I wanna hide with you, but I can't escape. They say it's your own child.